In this tutorial, we are going to learn about the definition of done at the test level. So in Agile project, you don't have any entry and exit criteria that we used to have in other uh, iterate in other uh, sequential development methodologies like waterfall and V model, uh, wherein we used to define entry criteria and exit criteria in each of the phases. So when we'll enter the next phase or when we'll say we'll uh, we have completed this phase successfully and we'll exit this phase. However, um, in Agile, we don't have any of these entry and exit criteria. So we have definition of done that is defined at different levels. And that's which uh, definition of done uh, ensures or uh, is the, uh, you can say it's sort of entry and exit criteria for each level in any of the Agile project. So it could be at the test level or uh, story level or iteration level. So definition of done is the key criteria that is being defined in Agile project to ensure that you whether you have met that criteria and you can say your story or your test levels are done or not. So in this uh, tutorial, we'll see what um, key things can be defined as definition of done in your test level. So this is not a comprehensive li list. Uh, depending on what type of project you are working on, there could be more activity or there could be more um, more uh, criteria defined in definition of done or there could be even um, less criteria. So let's see uh, what are uh, some of the uh, definition of done. So in the unit testing level, you could have uh, criteria criteria is defined like 100% code coverage targeted. So at the unit testing level, you should should be targeting 100% code coverage. Any unfeasible paths reviewed and signed off by the development lead. So that's another criteria. So unless until all these criteria will be ticked, uh, you can't say that you have finished unit testing for the particular user story or the task. Um, the third criteria could be all unit tests should pass, all unit test results should be reviewed, unit tests should be automated, and there shouldn't be any major critical, uh, uh, major and critical outstanding defects. Uh, and this could be uh, also agreed. So there, there will be some places wherein you have there shouldn't be any outstanding defect in that particular user story, or there could be there shouldn't be any critical. Uh, outstanding defect but rest we can address later so this definition of done is something which is discussed uh, within the team uh, within the agile team and the whole team agrees on this definition of done for each level or each iteration then uh, the static code analysis should be completed so these are some of the um, criteria that could be defined as the definition of done for unit testing. Now let's see what could be some of the criteria for the integration testing. So in integration testing, you could say all functional test cases should be executed. Um, all the interfaces between unit tested uh, between units uh, should be tested. So um, at the integration level, you should ensure that all the integration points between the interfaces that you are testing are tested successfully. There shouldn't be any critical and major defects. This can again change uh, as per the agreement within the team. And then if there are defects that are identified, then they are all reported in the defect tracking tool. And uh, there should be automation. So all regression test cases are automated as per the agreed criteria. And all the quality risks are addressed. So these could be some of the criteria that can be defined at the integration level definition of done. Uh, now at the system level, uh, you can have that end-to-end um, -end testing of the user story has been completed. All the acceptance criteria defined for the user story has been met and any of the non-functional quality characteristics are met. So for example, performance, reliability, etc. They should be met at system level. Any quality risks, if they are found, they are covered. And the regression test cases at the system level should be executed and if there are new test cases identified they should be added in the 
regression suite as required. Then all the regression test cases should be automated. This again um, is uh, depending what agreement is within the team, but mostly all the test cases should be, all the regression test cases should be automated, whichever can be. And if there are some which are not feasible, uh, you should be getting exemption for those test cases uh, that can't be automated. Then uh, there shouldn't be any outstanding critical or major defects within uh, the system testing. And all the, all the defects that are identified in the system testing phase should be reported in the defect tracking tool. So these are some of the key um, things that are mentioned in the definition of done at the test level so you 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 can add more uh, criteria to this existing criteria these these are some of the generic criteria that are utilized across the agile project but they can they are always discussed within the team and depending on the organization and the type of project you are working on you can tweak these criteria as per the requirement and needs of the project so um, say for example you are uh, you have some regulatory or compliance uh, thing uh, regulatory requirements as well then in that case there will be uh, more strict criteria defined at e each of the test level so it is more of a collaborative effort within the team to come up and define this definition of done thank you